Hi Pisces, welcome to a reading by the Blessing Foundry. Today's reading will be a general spread and we'll look at the energies that might be present and see what messages Spirit has to give for you today. I hope you guys are doing great. All right guys, guardians, angels, ancestors, 5D Lightning Bell, please come near. What messages do you have for Pisces today? If you guys haven't subscribed yet, I invite you to do so. It's a great way um, to let me know that you guys appreciate the videos and it shows great support. Thank you so much. Okay, here we go, guys. Spirit, what message do you have for Pisces today? What do you want Pisces to know? What messages do you have for Pisces today? What messages do you have for Pisces today, Spirit? What messages do you have for Pisces today? What do you want Pisces to know? What messages do you have for Pisces today? What messages do you have for Pisces today? Seeing clearly the positive change, positive movement forward, seeing clearly going towards victory, going towards success, having new ideas, new inventiveness. Let's see, hold on guys. Three of Wands, moving to, you know, that positive change, um, new ideas, new victories, new learning, new truths that move you towards growth and expansion. What else do you have for Pisces today, Spirit? What else do you have for Pisces? What other messages do you have for Pisces, Spirit? <clears throat> Anything else for Pisces today, Spirit? Nine of Fool and Nine of Wands. Any other messages for Pisces, Spirit? So moving into a new beginning, new opportunities, taking the leap. Even though you've been struggling and, you know, you've been having a lot of resilience in the past, but now you're, you know, moving towards the um, new freedom, new joy. All right. So... Pisces, here we have, you know, the positive change that's going to advance you forward into a place where you're looking onward towards your growth and expansion and towards your new beginnings. Um, we have the destiny card. So this is a card not of fate, but of destiny, of something you're actively um, energetically creating into your environment um, versus like you're born environment or circumstances right is it's the the destiny is what you pursue during your lifetime and here we see the positive shift towards that towards the um, I'm, I'm picking up strongly that a truth is probably going to come forward um you might learn something and that's going to um expand or open your mind towards expansion here as well we'll get clarification of course i um, mean and, and you know really what this is going to be doing is moving you into this new beginning and away from, you know, you've been for a while working and having to be strong, having to have courage, having to persevere through circumstances. Um, and it's, you're moving into this time of joy and, and celebration. And we also see at these, uh, at the, their feet here, you know, it's a sign of the harvest time. You know, we have the pumpkins and the fruit from the harvest and the grapes. Um, so, you know, this represents the, the time of year, at least in the Northern Hemisphere where we are. It's harvest and, you know, coming together in, in holiday celebrations. Um, but really, so, oh, what I got, okay, so around the holidays, clearly there's going to be this shift that, is likely to occur okay so let's get clarification spirit what do you want pisces to know about the wheel of fortune please what do you want pisces to know about the wheel of fortune here what is the wheel of fortune in this reading for pisces what is this wheel of fortune for pisces please let me peek okay what is this wheel of fortune for pisces in this reading please spirit okay hold on guys all right, so we have the Five of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. So, you know, the shift that you're moving away from is having a perceived, and I'm picking up perceived rather than you've actually had. Um, in some cases, of course, you may have actually had a significant loss that put you out in the cold. You know, we've been through try, trying times, so maybe some of you have, you know, had a job loss or something or 
you know, perhaps some of you have had relationship loss or otherwise um, just feeling you know, that out in the cold, like have some of you may have been having a sense that, you know, you're not going to find love. Nobody will ever love you. Having a sense of abandonment, rejection, overall a sense of lack. And here the Queen of Cups is in fact the Pisces card. So, you know, it, it, it's showing here, Pisces, that the positive shift is going to be for you, Pisces, and it's going to move you away from this Five of Pentacles energy. You know, wherever in your life you best resonate with having that Five of Pentacles energy of, you know, a sense of lack, a sense of doubt, a sense of, um, you know, like it could be better. And what is this Ace of Swords for Pisces, please? What do you want Pisces to know about this Ace of Swords, please? What do you want Pisces to know about the Ace of Swords spirit? What is this Ace of Swords for Pisces? What is this Ace of Swords for Pisces, please, spirit? What is this Ace of Swords for Pisces, please, spirit? What is this? Okay, I was going to grab one, but I can't see what one it was. What is the Ace of Swords for Pisces, please, spirit? Okay. So if you have been in a situation where there's been arguments or strife or difficulty or competition, that's clearly coming to the end and you're going to be a victor in this situation, Pisces, and you're going to clearly see the truth or have a truth. You know, if there's an argument, it's coming to the to an end and you're going to get clarity on the situation. What is this three of wands for Pisces? What is this three of wands for Pisces? Somebody might be coming forward with the truth to you, Pisces. You know, you may have been believing one thing about a situation, but a person may in fact be coming to share the truth with you to clarify the situation. <clears throat> Hold on, guys. Oops. <clears throat> Pardon me. What is this three of wands for Pisces? What do you want Pisces to know about the three of wands? Thank you. The Hierophant. So there's going to be some shift, you know, this coming forward of this truth may in fact change your belief system um, or your beliefs around a situation. So you you may be able to, you know, have the growth and expansion around thought um, to that sheds light on a new beginning, right? That's kind of like the, the game changer in thought. Um, alternatively, it could in fact be an organization, you know, changes in organization or perhaps a job offer that's coming um, or, or some even some change within a commitment um, that you have. One more card to clarify the Three of Wands, please, Spirit. One more card to clarify the Three of Wands, for Pisces. One more card to clarify the Three of Wands, please, Spirit. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay. So this is going to be in, in you know, again, the, the King of Swords for this is clarifying um, what I just said about um, the, this is either it's going to be somebody coming through with the truth, um, clarity on the situation, or it's going to be an organization. Um, the King of Swords is a very clear, methodical, logical, it can represent air sign. Um, and this is a masculine energy. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, and it can, in fact, you know, wreck it. This could be the coming forward of this masculine energy. Again, it doesn't have to be male, but just the masculine <clears throat> in some form of commitment. Or it can, in fact, actually be some type of a, a lawyer. If some of you are in um, legal situations or dealing with courts, it can be a decision, um, a positive decision forward. I'm getting positive decision forward because we're seeing, you know, the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Swords. So it'll be a positive determination coming forward um, for you. And what is this Fool card for Pisces, please? One more second. Hold on, guys. <clears throat> Pardon me. What is this Fool card for Pisces, please? What is the full card for Pisces spirit? What do you want Pisces to know? Okay, hold on. This is a lot of cards for the full spirit. Okay. So I'm going to just, this is a lot, but I'm going to look at them because there's, there's a lot happening behind the scenes is what I'm getting. Okay. 
So a truth is going to come out regarding a union, and you may have, in fact, been sad or disappointed by this union, but there's going to be a truth that comes out around it. A message is going to come forward, and the message may, in fact, be very rapidly coming forward, perhaps over text communication or some type of digital form of communication regarding this union, regarding what happened that may have made you feel sad. Um, and the King of Pentacles here... Um, it, and hold on, this spirit says this can also be clarity in your own mind that you get a sudden understanding of, you know, what took place that, you know, kind of gave this five of cups energy. It could involve a, um, a masculine earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. It does not have to, um, but alternatively it could have involved finances. It could have been a situation around finances. So that's that's part of this. There's there's a number of things going on here for this new beginning. So so with respect to that, you know, with it could be, you know, not only love or romance, but a contract or a partnership or union that could have involved money or finances or um, something to do with um, an earth sign. All right, and then also we have for the new beginning, oh, Spirit says, so this this will be the enlightenment um, of what occurred in the past, and then the new beginning will be what I have in this other part. This new beginning will be, you know, the coming forward, you know, awakening to the situation or the forgiveness of a situation and saying, you know, let's work on it. Um, again, it doesn't have to be a past person, you know, it could just be, um, a situation that's been trying to manifest, um, and, you know, come together to work on it, to go to for forward. And we do have, you know, the lover's card here, which is the, the love and the divine union. So it can be the choice, right? And here we have Pisces and the Empress. So, you know, the Pisces and the, or the high priestess and the Empress together are very strong, very feminine energies, um, the knowing without speaking and then the the knowing and being reassured without acting so that both the high priestess and the empress they don't pursue they don't react they they know and they allow and they sit in their power and they wait they wait with knowledge and they wait with um security knowing that situations will right themselves for the highest good and here we see, independent of if anybody's going to be allowed into your life or not, you know, we have the new beginning. We have the positive change moving forward with, you know, new clarity, new victory, um, moving towards growth and expansion, taking, you know, the time to say, yes, I'm on the edge here to move forward and this is what I want. I want this new beginning. Now I have the clarity of what has occurred behind the scenes. Um, and I have this new beginning and I'm going to make the determination on if I do want to work to move forward in this love situation, you know, and I, and I'm not showing my cards. I, I'm holding it back and I'm in my power and I'm in my grace and I'm in my authority as you decide if you want to, in fact, embark on this new beginning. So what is, or not, not if you want to, I, I get the very strong sense that you're going to have this new beginning. This, it's just, you know, you're not, you're, you, you're fully aware, like you have new clarity here. What is the nine of wands for Pisces? What is this nine of wands for Pisces? What is this nine of wands for Pisces? Okay. What is this nine of wands for Pisces, please, spirit? So there may in fact be apology and offer of love. And, you know, we see the nine of wands energy. So there was a difficulty Okay, so we have the Nine of Wands and we're showing that your new beginning, you know, may in fact have, you're taking caution and you're not showing all your cards because there's this Nine of Wands energy is present, but there's going to be a coming forward, an offer of love, or the Page of Cups can also be an audition, an uh, um, interview, you know, something to be an offer to you that is emotionally based. Um, it can be a message of love as well. And here we have um, the the masculine fire energy. So that can be Sagittarius, Aries, or, or oh my gosh, guys. Um, 
Leo, thank you. <laughs> I know one of you guys were out there, Leo, Leo, Leo. <laughs> okay, um, and the coming together. And again, we have the Three of Cups. So, so whatever situation is occurring here, Pisces, and it's going to be different for all of you, you know, it's going to work in your favor. This is going to be in your favor. You're going to see clearly. You're going to, you know, know how to properly move forward, understanding the dynamics of what has occurred behind the scenes understanding, you know, the energy behind this Knight of Wands and what the trouble was. And, you know, as this apology comes forward to have this or this offer comes forward to have this new beginning, you're going to really be assessing what's going to bring you joy. So let's look, bring into this Three of Cups. Okay, so the Page of Wands came out. So there's, I'm going to put this aside because that's some type of message here. Let me scoot you guys so we can see all these. All right, so we have the Page of Wands, so we'll get an independent um, sidebar on the Page of Wands, but what is this Three of Cups, please, Spirit? What do you want Pisces to know about the Three of Cups, please? What is the Three of Cups for Pisces here? What do you want Pisces to know the Three of Cups? About the Three of Cups. What is the Three of Cups for Pisces, please? Nine of Cups, satisfaction and abundance. So you're going to be in joy. You know, no matter what decision you make, no matter who's who's a player in this dynamic, you're going to see through the situation and understand it clearly. And out of this situation, you're going to thrive, Pisces. You're going to rise up and you're going to, you know, come into satisfaction and joy from the situation. So now we're going to grab a sec second deck to get the clarification on this page of wands of what this message is going to be. Spirit, please show Pisces what this message is. What is this message that's going to be coming through to Pisces? What is this page of wands? What message will be coming through to Pisces, please? Okay, so a clear decision using discernment. What, what message will be coming through to Pisces? That can also represent a, a feminine air energy, Libra. Um, Libra Gemini or Aquarius. Um, what is this page of wands for Pisces? What, it, what will this message of the page of wands be, Spirit? What will the message of the page of wands be, please? What will the message of the page of wands be? The magician. So clearly manifesting. One more card to get a clarity on the page of wands message, please. One more card, please, Spirit, for the page of wands message. And we get the page of cups again. So we're starting to get redundant messages here. So for the messages that's going to come through is we're going to have the message, a very clear, decided message to manifest, you know, this, this new offer of love, this um, compassionate, the Page of Cups can also be that forgiveness. It can be, you know, that love, that kindness and that caring. Um, and perhaps it's rooted in the experience here that brought about this five, five of pentacles here, Pisces. Um, let's get some overall messages. What's the overall message of this reading for Pisces, please? What's the overall message of this reading for Pisces, please, Spirit? One card for the overall message of this reading for Pisces, please. Thank you. And we get Aries energy with the Emperor. So, you know, Pisces, here what we see is there's a positive change that's coming about. Um, you may have been feeling in a place where, you know, you may have been in lack or feeling, you know, like your situations are less than you desire, but that's going to be quickly changing. And you're going to either receive some some truth, clarity, ideas, or victory around a situation that, you know, has been combative, has been a struggle, has been full of conflict and strife, and that's coming to an end. That strife and that conflict and that five of wands energy is ending. And you're, you know, positively shifting towards this, this clarity and this victory and into growth and expansion where, you know, for some of you, it'll be, you know, an organization. Some of you, it'll be belief systems. Some of you, it could be a, a commitment that comes to be, you know, offered or where you have an opportunity for growth and expansion. Understanding the dynamics of the past and having clarity on what occurred in the past um, in partnerships, in unions, in relationship dynamics, um, or even business deals regarding security, regarding stability, regarding um, disappointments. 
to move into your new beginning, having an awakening to the understanding of what needs to be worked on to move forward, having the decision um, around, you know, whatever situation this best resonates with you, having the decision to um, see clearly and to know and to allow, but not to act. You are not chasing. You are not going after this. You're not overly investing. You're, you're meeting people with equal energy. If they show up with X energy, you show up with X energy, right? You're, you're not over giving anymore. What in this nine of wands, you know, the nine of wands, again, just like I said, over giving, putting in the work, not getting the reward, feeling beaten down, you know, an apology may in fact be coming through, um, or an offer to work together to, you know, somebody may want to take the lead and come together with you. We have the three of cups, um, twice so the three of cups you know the opportunity to have the joy to have the satisfaction you know independent of if anybody else is involved pisces you are being the authority over your life and you're choosing you know happiness you're choosing joy and you're choosing what's going to bring you in into your best highest good with the wheel of fortune and the fool you know you have a destined new beginning here i hope that helps pisces god bless